We'll now proceed to Honorable uh, P.J. Hunewald. Geachte voorzitter, through you to the Honorable President. Honorable President, in your January address, you and the ANC thought it well to play the race card. What you did, you took two young men in terms of the Marshall Sports incident and you said that you condemn racism. I predict that in the coming election, the race card is going to be played a couple of times. And Honorable President, you condemned racism. But the court case hasn't been finalized yet on that matter. Now I want to put it very clearly. The Freedom Front Plus condemns any form of racism. But there's a difference in the condemnation of racism between the ANC and the Freedom Front Plus. Honorable President, you only see racism as white on black racism. There was a court case about two black police men and the court found that a white woman, a colonel, was the victim of racism of these two men. So there is also black on white racism. And you said, Honorable President, that there's no place for racists in South Africa. They must leave the country. Honorable President, I request you Please ask these two black men who are racist to leave the country. Ons kan nie een nasie bou as ons eensuidig net dier een eenoogige perspektief te kyk na racisme. I taak, in termen van artikel 83c van die grondwet, is om eenheid te bou in Suid-Afrika en die Suid-Afrikaanse nasie. Jy sal dit net kan doen as jy ook swart op wit rasisme kan veroordeel. Honorable Groenewald, just a minute. I see there's a hand at the back there. On what point are you rising, member? Thank you very much, Honorable Chair. I was just saying we don't have the the headphones for interpretation. So, Honorable Groenewald, when he goes deep, we can hear. Yeah, no. Um, the table must look at that. Yes. Uh, uh, please look at the, the situation, the uh, interpretation. Please proceed, Honorable Grunewald. Honorable Grunewald, please pro proceed whilst we're sorting out uh, the interpretation. Yeah, please. The member can come, I'll explain to him afterward. Akbar, uh, President. Wat ons sê is, dat ons kan nie dubbele standaarde handhaf in Suid-Afrika nie. Die Vrijheidsfront Plus verwerp enige vorm van rasisme. En daarom moet u as president die voorbeeld stel in termen van artikel 83c van die grondwet om nasie te bou. En ons moet nie die rassekaart wil speel nie. Andere president, as far as Eskom is concerned, I first want to ask you, you're going to appoint a minister for electricity. How many cadres do you need to change the bulb? Want to hold the ladder? Want to get on the ladder? Want to pass on the bulb? And if they put it in, there's no electricity. You own minister for energy and mineral resources said it's only going to be a project manager. Those words should say something to you because that minister doesn't see the new minister as an equal only a project manager honorable president it is common knowledge that black economic empowerment and affirmative action is one of the main reasons 
for the problems in ESCO. Their own employment equity plan determines that in the next three years, ESCO must get rid of 500 white men technicians with technical skills. Honorable President, I've urged you many times from this podium, let us get rid of black economic empowerment and affirmative action because it's nothing else than the smokescreen for corruption. And even the Zondo Commission found so. The people of South Africa and specifically the white people, and I said it many times, wants to build South Africa. Honorable President, are you aware of the fact that the Mr. Yapi van Seyl, he studied at Stellenbosch, he was a member of the South African Navy, he's an engineer. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2020. But Yapi van Seyl was the project manager for perseverance on Mars. Are you aware of the fact that on the planet Mars, there is a mountain range named Yapi van Seyl? That's acknowledgement for people from South Africa, irrespective of race. Honorable Chairperson, you said that we must take joint responsibility for ESCOM. I want to put it very clearly. The Freedom Front Plus doesn't take responsibility for the crisis of ESCO. Yes, we have solutions. But Honorable President, and I will submit you with a 10-point plan of the Freedom Front Plus to solve the problem and the crisis. But the question is whether you're going to read it. Do you listen what opposition party leaders say to you? I don't experience that unfortunately. So we do not take responsibility for the crisis. I also want to say, Honorable President, that you were put in charge in 2015 of the war room that was created by your predecessor. And a couple of things had been said and I want to quote. On the 2nd of September 2015, you yourself said the following, in the next 18 months to two years, you will forget that the challenges we had with power, energy and ESCOM ever existed. Close quote. On the 3rd of April 2019, the Honorable Minister Praveen Gordon said the following, ESCOM aims to assure, ensure that there will be no more load shedding from 3 April 2019. The same Honorable Gordon said the other day, in fact, the 25th of January on an online symposium with the University of Johannesburg, he said, we are now in the mood to urgently solve the crisis as soon as possible. Close quote. In the mood, Honorable Chairperson, maybe the Honorable Minister must visit the people on the streets and determine their mood when there is load shedding. And I can assure you, he will be surprised because he doesn't know what is load shedding because no minister gets load shedding. And I think it is arrogant, I think it is arrogant to say we are now in the mood. So for solving the problem depends on the mood. Honorable President, I want to continue. There are simple steps that can be taken. For instance, ESCOM applied for a permit to get fuel much cheaper, but the Minister for Energy rejected it. There is an ongoing case between ESCOM and the revenue services in terms of a rebate on fuel. Why don't you solve it? Why go to court? It's simple steps that can be taken. Honorable Chair, I also want to read to you because we had our own survey amongst people how they experience load shedding. And in our survey, we found that Mr. Maria Libber 
is the owner of a small fuel station in Tromsberg in Kopenhagen in the Free State. His overheads increased with almost 40,000 rand during January this year. The cost of fuel for a power generator. This threatens the continued existence of that business and the livelihoods of his staff members. Businesses in agriculture value chain in Frankfurt, Mafube, in the Free States, all spending as much as 22,000 rand per day on fuel for generators. Meneer Zerik van der Merwe van Pretoria had ons laat weet dat hij nooit gedwongen 4 miljoen rand moest besteden aan alternatieve energiebronnen om zijn vervoeronderneming aan die gang te houden. Those are the suffering of the people who have load shedding. Honorable President, with my time, I want to say crime in South Africa is out of control. When you became the president, you wanted to be Madiba too. Let me say this to you, take a leave from the book of Madiba. Because Madiba appointed a person, Andre Pinar, in terms of a strategy for crime, specifically organized crime. They come up with the idea of the scorpions. It's time we go back to that, to solve specifically transnational crime and where kidnapping is the lucrative crime of today. Honorable President, the problem, and there are many problems, is the expropriation bill. The expropriation bill is nothing else than expropriation without compensation. I request you, before you sign, please send it to the Constitutional Court. I conclude. Honorable President, the people who created a crisis cannot be the people to solve that crisis. There is only one way to solve all the crises in South Africa, and that is in next year's election, we must get rid of the ANC government. I thank you. Thank you very much. We'll now proceed to the Minister of Police.